Hello, good morning. How are you guys doing? <laughs> How are you guys doing? I just wake up with this, um, with like this mood. Yeah, somehow, okay. I slept very late. I'm wake up so early morning. You know, high strong for the school runs to prepare the kids for school and for you to prepare for your working place too. You know how healthy kids can be. So, good morning from here. How are you guys doing? I hope you guys slept well. How's night? Yeah. Oh my, okay. I forgot to look at I just bought another one. Now you guys have already known me from my such hairstyle. Yeah. So, how are you guys doing? Oh my goodness. I still pray to God Almighty for keeping us alive to the flowing day as always. And what do you guys think about this Russian, um, Russia and Ukraine stuff? And the video I want to drop here is a very short video of, oh my goodness, the, will like I say, the luxury life of the um, um, Russia President Putin. Oh my goodness, oh my word, I don't even know what to say. Everything depends on you guys, what you're going to drop at the comment section, your think, your thoughts. Nobody's forcing anybody to just say watch, you don't want to see or something like that. What do you think about his luxurious lifestyle? Is that, is, uh, I want to ask this question, is every president a day opportunity to such lifestyles or maybe his own he got the money before he became president but i still think maybe some people not suddenly me as thinking maybe even maybe some people claim to be more rich more freaking rich before becoming any opposition that they give to them only person that they give to them only leader they can often president being president minister some other stuff maybe it's not supposed to be showing this way or rather they be using their fortune their ways to be helping some kind of less privileged people people that come to do some meaningful things in people's life what do you think about this that is the video i want to drop now they should keep you know they are not even into all this politics stuff or that kind of thing but you know this one is above that yes we really need to talk about this and the opinion is highly needed at the comment section it's like i'm feeling this what is my local village you make it <laughs> i just want this one again okay. So what do you think about uh, putting the Russian president's uh, luxurious lifestyle? Is that the president? What do you think about that? Maybe is it maybe is entitled to live such lifestyles, or maybe is not cut for, or maybe even if maybe he has he has acquired so much wealth before he became the president, or maybe he was supposed to use uh, his wealth, some of his wealth to maybe help some people, or maybe not to be using this or this kind of uh, fine blood lifestyles, you know, all this thing. What do you think? I just want to hear your opinion and your thoughts about this video about putting the Russia presidents. I'm gonna drop this video. I know most of you guys have seen it and watched it, but those that have not seen the video have watched it. Watch and drop your comments at the comment section. Let's meet it as usual. So, what do you think about this? My always local village hair. You know, this is the head of people that don't have money. Or local village people do mat. Now, this is what I'm marking. The other hand, you one of you says, always love Martin. Once again, if you're not subscribed to my YouTube channel, then you just watch my video once in a while. Maybe someone um, shared my video you said it. Please, 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 can you subscribe to my channel? Alright? After subscribing, whenever you're watching, just like, like, thumbs up, okay? And on all your bell notifications, whenever I upload any video, you'll be the first to get notified, okay? Please, let's grow this channel together. You guys will be pushing this channel from day one to at this stage it has been now. And I still believe in you guys, that you guys will still do more better. So what do you think about this video I'm going to drop now? About um, Russia president, his luxury lifestyles. Does he really merit it? Or even if maybe he merits, he merits it? Do you have maybe the kind of thing to share for those that are not more privileged, the kind of thing for them to get some kind of a little bit quality life? Or is nobody's business? What do you think? I just want to get your own opinion. That's why I'm dropping it here. Okay. I still remain your baby girl. I don't have one of even states talking to you. Watch out for the video and drop your comment and your opinion on the comment section. Love you guys. I'll keep loving you guys. You guys know that you're always the best. <laughs> he might just be the richest person alive. Vladimir Putin has access to over 20 different palaces and villas, 58 private planes and at least 4 luxury yachts. Putin is one of the richest people in the world. 
Athoth, it's hard to place him on a list because his actual net worth is shrouded in mystery. Some estimates place it at $70 billion, while others say it could be as much as $200 billion. Some estimates place it at $70 billion, while others say it could be as much as $200 billion. From fancy cars to an expensive collection of watches, this is how the Russian billionaire spends his fortune. Vladimir Putin has no shortage of palaces, mansions and apartments to call his own. But there is one particular home that stands above the rest, his $1 billion Black Sea Palace with grand architecture and luxury comparable to Francis Palace of Versailles, the seaside mansion is reported to have cost at least $1 billion to build. It's the largest private residential building in Russia with a reported 190,000 square feet of living space. Aerial photos reveal features like a large courtyard surrounded by massive wrought iron gates, a sculpture garden and an amphitheater. There's an arboretum and greenhouse, a church and a 260-foot long bridge that leads to a 27,000 square foot guest house. There are many rooms hidden inside around and under the main palace, like a hockey rink, Las Vegas-style casino, swimming pools and saunas, a cocktail lounge and a gym. Olsky Navalny and his anti-corruption team revealed some of the secrets hidden inside Putin's 11-bedroom palace by comparing the building plans with expensive furniture orders traced back to the Russian president. While his incomparable palace may be Putin's current favorite, the president's title grants him access to many state palaces state-rented apartments and vacation homes. Putin's official office is the Kremlin, a fortified complex in Moscow, that includes more than 15 buildings, 20 towers and over 1.5 miles of walls that are up to 21 feet thick. According to a report, $1 billion worth of upgrades were added to the building in the 1990s. However his official presidential residence is different. It's a suburban government dachu outside of the city called Novo Arjoevo. It's located in Reblog for home to some of Russia's most opulent mansions. It's well hidden behind walls and constantly patrolled by security. Unlike the White House it's completely closed to the public but is known to have some spectacular gardens and royal rooms that are occasionally seen in Putin's broadcasts. The Russian president is also rumored to stay in a government leased department in Moscow and Yantra in Kilograd, a palace right beside the beach. That's one of his official summer residences as well as a forest surrounded residence which was initially planned to be one of Stalin's official homes. There's also a palace in St. Petersburg formerly owned by the Ramanov family and often used by Putin for state events. In addition to these lavish homes Putin is rumored to have private vacation homes apartments and beachside villas around the world in unknown locations. Vladimir Putin is known for having a love of cars, especially Soviet-made classics. His presidential vehicle is a bomb and bulletproof limousine. Russian-built state car production has started to make the vehicle available to the public but Putin was the first to own this Soviet Rolls-Royce. Prices start around $245,000 but Putin's is expected to have cost over $300,000. His model comes with special features like the ability to withstand sniper fire and chemical gas attacks advanced communications equipment and CCTV footage aired on internal screens. 
Putin loves a good vintage car so his personal collection includes some favorites like his Zaz 968, it's the first vehicle Putin ever drove and is expected to have paid around $10,000. To add a perfect conditioned used model to his car collection, in 2005 he also purchased a Gas 21 Volga for about $12,000. He drove George Bush around in this vehicle during a meeting between the two leaders in 2006. Another of Putin's classic Soviet cars is a lot of Neva 4x4 that he uses for fishing trips. However the best traveling can't always be done on land, perhaps even more extensive than his car collection is Putin's incredible fleet of aircrafts, which is said to be made up of at least 58 different flying machines. In 2012, dossier was drawn up by a political rival of Putin which detailed his many planes and helicopters. Included in his collection is a $20 million Dosso Falcon which seats 19 and has a full entertainment system with soundproofing. He also owns an Airbus H319 for traveling with small groups and supposedly owns 8 to 154s that cost between $7.5 million and $20 million each. It's said to have an $11 million cabin decked out by jewelers with a gold toilet which costs between $75 and $100,000. The Epic Yacht which upgraded in 2005 for reported $1.2 billion. He also owns the Graceful, which cost $100 million and can sleep 14 people in 6 lavish bedrooms. It reportedly cost 5 to 10 million dollars in annual operation costs. Another yacht he owns is called the Seagull, it's 177 feet long and is officially part of Kremlin's fleet of yachts. Putin is secretly the world's richest person as far as we know. This is just the taste of how the luxurious Russian president's life really is. Despite all the visible luxury, the Kremlin claims Putin makes just $135,000 a year, 